whole 140,000th mile so um I just got some lobster mac but um I just ordered a um AFD flex fuel kit because they're having um what is it 20% off and then originally like a long time ago and I was looking up um E92 M3s the kit was like 12 or 1300 bucks but now since the car's a little older they're a little cheaper now, they're a thousand, and then they had 20% off with just $200 additional savings. So that was literally perfect. I'm like, yeah, I had to pull the trigger on it because the sale is this weekend for, what do you call it, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So, um, Ooh. almost fell. But, um, yeah, I mean, I literally cannot turn that down. Like, initially, I was. Like had it in my budget to spend like twelve to thirteen hundred bucks, which I believe the price was originally or like a while back, whatever. But um Yeah. Eight hundred dollars, so can't complain. And that's for flex fuel. So boom, flex fuel. Cause um a lot of people just do a flash tune and then they just turn their E85 tune on, but you have to bring a laptop around. And you have to, um, like, if, let's say your battery's low and you're out somewhere, and then there's no E85, um, then you're kind of screwed. Like, you can't really do anything unless you have jugs of E85. So, I was just like, you know what? A couple extra hundred dollars, I'll get my, um, flex fuel sensor, and then down the line when I get the supercharger and everything like that, I have the flex fuel kit already installed, so that's more gains and everything like that and i won't have to worry about it later on sorry spit but um yeah i'll catch you guys in the next clip i just sold the um the riot racing big board throttle body and then i um opened these i've had these for a long time and i've literally had headlights sitting out for a very long time to be able to use this never worked but the m3 the headlights are as you guys saw they're not too nice they're Kind of foggy and i'm going to be tinting them yellow so i want them to be clean first because dirty headlights or foggy headlights whatever with the yellow it, it looks terrible so yeah have to prep them first hopefully this thing works great if not you'll know but they sent these out for me to do a review so the review will be done in this video sorry it took so long i literally just had no headlights to use them on while I package this thing up, uh, we be giving you guys like my impression of the M3 after almost two weeks of ownership. And I can say that honestly, 
I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this already in another video, but this is the best car that I've ever owned and have not really done anything to it. And it's just like, because it's such a driver's car and it's such a comfortable car, it pulls hard, like literally everything that you could want from like a, from a car like this, from like a sports car that's like pretty modern, granted this thing is 12 years old now, but it literally has everything. The looks, the sounds, the feel, like it doesn't feel too computerized or anything. The, like it's really agile, like it's literally everything that you can think of. Like, my God, this is such a great car. And I appreciate it so much more now after having the Skyline, because the Skyline is like super raw and like you could hear everything and all the little creaks and everything like that. It was like a nice in an unrefined way, if that makes any sense. But this is like really refined, but it's not refined to the point where it's computerized. So, man, this is such a great car. And give me a second, because I have to write the address on this thing, then, you know, box it up. Headlight Restore US. Boom. And it says. Sorry, this is really terrible because I don't have my gimbal or my stand or anything. So, boom, you guys see it. You guys can see the headlights, they're a bit foggy. And I believe each kit just does one, like, each packet is one headlight restoration. So, like, you do one headlight with one of the cleaning wipes, and then both headlights with one of the protectant wipes. So, I've wiped this down. And this is all, I'm going to be doing all of this in real time. feels clean but it looks like there may be some cond condensation stuff on the inside but as for the outside it looks okay now to open the second pack And also, like, as you guys can see, there's 
all happening in real time so it's as accurate as possible it'll be as if you're doing it boom all oh, these things are very dirty I'm gonna have to wipe like around the headlight and stuff but it seems like it's working like the outside part of the glass is looking really nice so it's a good sign no, so this is not paid product testing or anything. They did not ask me to say anything or do anything other than give my honest opinion after I test out the product. And that was it. So, if it doesn't look good after, then I'll say so. And you guys will also see it. If it does, I'll say it. And you guys will also see it. So... They said that it may look a bit hazy or whatever after you do it, but like after you do the cleaning wipe or whatever. But the next one is the protectant wipe. So, boom. It's going on four minutes, so this is probably like a five to six minute process. Probably should be wearing gloves too, by the way. Also, for this one, they said do not open the wipe. You just rub it as is. Hopefully it didn't stop recording. Boom. Okay, so let me just make sure. And then it says open the headlight. Open packet number two. Do not unfold the wipe and thoroughly wipe both headlights with the wipe provided. Headlights are now good as new. Oops. So, you guys are going to see it. So they definitely do look cleaner. We're going to have to see after it dries. And it doesn't say anything about like drying it afterwards so boom that actually looks a lot better it's wet so we are not gonna see it until it's like done but when it is we'll see it and again this is not paid product testing I'm not affiliated with the company by any means they saw my videos or somebody referred me and they sent me the products to test and give my honest opinion. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Nothing other than showing the product in real time at that. Ooh, I stepped on my WD-40 bottle. But yeah, so when this is done, I'm going to show you guys like the drying process and I, well, not the drying process, but like what how it looks after it dries. But from the looks of it, like at least for right now, they look really good and a hundred times better. So let's just hope it keeps the same energy when it's dry. All right, so we're coming out to look and see what happened. Oh my God, it started to drizzle and it got wet. Oh, that's so annoying because it's not supposed to get wet for 24 hours. So what I'm most likely going to have to do is use the second kit that they sent me. But it's been after the half an hour, so yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely, the rain lit, oh my god, I really, I hate it here. So I'm going to have to redo it. Because you can see like all the spots and it's super textured. So I'm probably going to have to get acetone, wipe it down, and then reapply it. Like it was supposed to be 75 degrees and sunny. And it's literally not. It's not cold out here or anything. But yeah. Yeah let me see if I have like alcohol and 
everything like that because what this thing does is it puts down a protective layer Okay, well, this thing is, like, kind of cleaning it off, but it's not all coming off. So, like, I literally have to go and redo this with alcohol and acetone and clean it off. But, yeah, I'll most likely just redo it right now if I can, if I can find some acetone or whatever, and then redo it. And then tomorrow, I'll show you guys. But, actually, I'm going to check the weather first, because if it's going to be tomorrow, I'm going to redo it, like, tomorrow and upload this video right now, so yeah stay tuned actually that's what i'm gonna do because i do believe it's actually gonna rain tomorrow so i probably won't be able to do that so like comment subscribe and the product the product is actually good it leaves a protective film over the headlight like as i was wiping it off i can feel it some parts are some parts dried and some parts didn't so what i'm gonna end up doing is most likely using a um a heat gun and dry it like force dry it but um yeah and then after that i'm going to use this and make the headlights yellow because it looks cool so catch you guys in the next one again like comment subscribe and you already know what to do bro drink water motherfuckers